gonna shake your booties for black girl nerds. You all both have amazing on-screen chemistry with Taraji. Mm -hmm. What was one of the greatest lessons you learned working with a talent like her? <laughs> <laughs> um, authenticity. The thing about Taraji, she's always authentically her. Um, off screen, and then she brings that on screen. And that's where the confidence comes in. That's where the flow of that chemistry sort of sets because we find it first off screen. And then you gotta really find where your friendship is, where your respect is, where your, your level of, you know, compensatory workmanship is because you're going to bring that to the set. And with her, no matter what's going on, who's around, whatever, she is just who she is. Yeah. And she has such a light, beautiful spirit about her, but unapologetic. It is what it is. And that's what I love because so many people try to do what they hope to do in life, but they feel like they gotta put a cape on, they gotta be something different, they have to conform to do it, to get yeah. it done. No, nah, no, nah, she's just like, I am who I am, and that's why she is where she's at. Uh, you can be a huge star, immensely talented, incredibly successful, and still be a great person who is fun to be around and caring and supportive and a great uh, partner. Yeah. You all both get the opportunity to play roles that are subtle, nuanced, but you're also taken advantage of. In your real lives and even professionally, what's it like or how do you navigate working with narcissistic people? Because in certain instances, even the sex scenes, I mean, in, in the office, uh, there's a lot of narcissism happening. What, how do you navigate that? I haven't really come across any of that in Hollywood. Not in Hollywood, not at all, no. No, people are so no. chill and down to earth. Everybody's Selfless. Honest. Honesty. Honest. Yeah, yeah. Narcissism, I've never heard the term. <laughs> never. Um, I don't know, I mean, I, I deal with it just by, by having good foundation of support around me at, at the crib, man. I got good family, good friends, and you need to figure out how to get a break away from all the negative energy. Yeah. You gotta have good people around yeah. you for that. Just because you're gonna go back into that energy, back to fight it, back to deal with it. You know, sometimes you gotta give up a couple battles to win the war, but um, you need a positive point of reference to find your center whenever you have to go up against things like that. Nice. That take advantage of who you are. Nice, nice, yep. I cower, mostly, <laughs> just sort of trying to make myself as small was, as possible. I was gonna say that. Um, so basic, like, bear avoidance techniques. Right, yeah. Yeah. right. Play dead, don't move. Yeah, never run. Wait till they leave. Never run, don't make eye contact. Right, you're making eye contact with me right now. I find it disrespectful, <laughs> but I'm, is I'm this gonna be a problem? You all are so funny. What was your favorite part about um, this entire process? I mean, so many of the scenes were just like off the hook, off the cuff. Yeah. Like, what was your favorite part? <laughs> you know what? I think for me, my favorite part of the process was actually being able to sit back and watch the process. The very first time I saw the film, I was astounded because there were a few actors I didn't really get to work with super, super uh, close with, so I was able to be a fan for a minute. Yeah. And the, the end product, I actually was laughing out loud with my whole family there. We had a great time, but I was like laughing for real. And it's been a, such a long time since I've actually done that in film. Yeah. I was happy, so that, that for me is the best. Were the sex scenes improvised or were they planned? Do you remember they, those? I don't, I don't remember those. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, <laughs> uh, no recollection of, of what? Yeah. Um, the, so they were written, but not every beat was written. We, we they said, okay, this, we just sex scene, and then we just went. And we improvised a good bit of it, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, still got some, you know, I'm still recovering from that, you know, I still go to my therapist <laughs> um, every Tuesday, you know, we have a session. But, uh, but nah, it was, it, there were a lot of things that were improvised, especially with the, you know, people will see when they watch it. Yeah. Better shake the for black girl nerds. Better shake.